new bill designed to hold the Department of Child Safety accountable when vulnerable children go missing from foster care was signed into law this week. It is the second bill in the last two years related to missing foster children with the goal of additional DCS oversight. Here's Michaela Marshall. Super excited that the law passed, but also really sad because no one should have to go and make legislative changes to do things that are common sense. It's been a long fight for foster parent and advocate Anika Robinson to pass House Bill 2479. Governor Katie Hobbs signed it into law this week. It requires DCS to inform law enforcement and anyone connected to a child within 24 hours if someone in their care goes missing, runs away, or is abducted. That child must also be entered into the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children database. These kids matter. They matter to me. They matter to my village. Her work for legislative change began after two teen girls went missing from a Mesa group home in January 2023. Their bodies were found in a nearby water basin two weeks later. We know that every single minute that passes means life or death for a child. That tragic case and personal experience pushed Stephen Follett to get involved. This was avoidable. He says years ago, one of his adopted daughters ran away from a group home. Follett says the then 15 year old was in DCS care for behavioral health reasons and no one alerted him she was gone until days later. He claims she was never in the NCMEC database, but nine days after she left, she was found. The system is completely broken and that we had to make changes. We had to instill changes. Under the new law, DCS has to establish a missing, abducted and runaway children unit if the agency shows a less than 95% compliance rate for four months in a one year period. The new law also requires DCS to submit a monthly report to the governor, Senate and House leadership with the names of all missing foster children and documentation that notifications were made within the proper time frames. I reached out to DCS for a comment, but I did not hear back. In studio, Michaela Marshall for Arizona's Family.